Hello students, welcome to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video, we will learn how to perform different arithmetic operations using various arithmetic operators in R. And we will be performing these operations on two different vectors. So we have defined a vector V1 that consists of three elements 2, 3 and 4. And the second vector is consisting of another three set of elements which is 5, 4 and 3. You can define any values that is your choice they have to be numeric values so the first arithmetic operator is the addition or the plus operator so when you apply the plus operator on the two vectors it will lead to addition of corresponding elements of the two vectors so two will be added with five three will be added with four and last third elements will be added correspondingly. So let's execute this statement and see the output. So as you can see in the resulting console that the print of V1 plus V2 has resulted in three values. Why three values? Because we get a value corresponding to each element that is present in these vectors. Okay. So in case we had two different set of uh, digits or two different set of values present in both these vectors let's see what would have been the output in this case when we add we would have gotten an error that the object length is not the same so both the vectors that you are using to perform arithmetic operations should have the same length so if i'm executing these statements we will notice that one value is obtained for each element that is correspondingly added to each other from both the vectors. Now the second arithmetic operation is the subtraction operation which is denoted or which is performed using the minus sign. So when I perform this operation the corresponding elements would be subtracted that means 2 minus 5 then 3 minus 4 and last 4 minus 3 so as you can see 2 minus 5 is minus 3 3 minus 4 is minus 1 and 4 minus 3 is 1 so corresponding elements are used to perform any kind of arithmetic operation in R the third operator is the multiplication operator it will multiply the corresponding elements the multiplication of first two elements that is 2 into 5 is 10 the result that we have obtained here then 3 into 4 is 12 and 4 into 3 is also 12. The next arithmetic operator is the division operator and as you can see it performs the complete division that means 2 divided by 5 would give you a question of 0 0.4 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So in this case it is giving you the result up to six decimal places right so if we have a number three divided by four in that case the second output is 0 0.75 0, 0, 0, 0, and in the third case the output or the question obtained after the division of four by three is 1.33333 all right now coming to the next operation which is the modulo operator and this operator is used to find out the remainder of the division. So when I execute this statement we get we, uh, the R compiler performs division between 2 and 5 and the remainder would be 2 in this case. When 3 is divided by 4, in that means the corresponding second elements are divided. The remainder that is calculated by the modulo operator is 3 and in the last case the remainder is 1. Now coming to the last, sorry, the second last arithmetic operation which is the integer division operation. Now in this case we will divide the corresponding elements but we will perform the integer division that means we will not give the result in decimals rather we'll just return the question and the remainder was being returned by the modulo whereas the integer division is returning the exact question okay so in this case when 2 is divided by 5 the question is 0 the remainder was 2 in 3 divided by 4 that means when correspondingly 
second elements of v1 and v2 are being used to perform integer division again the output of integer division operator is zero and in the last case the question is one okay now last arithmetic operator is the exponentiation operator that means the power operator so in this case the first element from v1 will be raised to the power of the first element from v2 that means 2 raised to the power 5 will be the output and that is what we are getting we are getting 32 similarly the second element that is 3 will be raised to the power of 4 and 3 raised to the power 4 is 81 and 4 raised to the power 3 in as in the last case will give us 64. So these were all the different kinds of arithmetic operations that can be performed on vectors in our programming language. That's all for today's video. I hope you have understood all these operators. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.